You want to see something crazy? We all know about 3D scanning, or most of us know now, and we actually sell them at Titans of CNC. So what we have here is the machine bed of the F8000, the new F8000, crazy machine that just came out from Heller. This machine bed is about to go into that monster machine and get machined. But if you actually look at it, you see it's got dots all over. That means it's being 3D scanned, right? We always see parts. You put the dots on the, on the parts, then you scan the part, and then it, you're able to bring in the model, and you can actually check out the model and actually program off the model, all that. Well, now that's scanning to another level for inspection. So it's a huge machining bed, and now we're inspecting it by scanning it, by creating a model, and then checking it perfectly to the model that was designed or built when designing the machine. So that's how we're inspecting. So check this out. So you come over here, dots, 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 everything's scanned, and then the part ends up being up on this screen. Then they have the color. So the color, if you look at the red, the red actually means it's out of tolerance. The green means it's perfectly in tolerance, and the blue would be that it's out of tolerance in a way where it's a negative space. There's not enough material there. So. You see green and red. The red is because it hasn't actually gone in to get machined yet, so that makes sense. The green is saying that per their model, looking at this scan and the model, everything is absolutely perfect. So it's just crazy how 3D scanning has entered this market, and now it's just, I see it on all different levels rising up very quickly. When you have huge parts, there is no, like you can't put these parts on a CMM, or you'd have to buy such an expensive CMM, but now they're just scanning the parts, boom, they're scanning them in the machines. We see even with United Grinding now, you have all these different uh, scanners and stuff. You just put the part in, it scans it, it tells you exactly where everything's at, hitting surface finishes, hitting like the tolerances, the specifications, all of that. 3D scanning right here at Heller in a huge way, boom. Titus over there, what's up brother? What's up? And then we got Magnus over here. What's up brother? Hi. Titan. Titus and Magnus. Boom. Strong names right there. Oh, look at this. Now we're on camera. What's up? No, no. All, only thing I'll ask is like, so you guys are machinists? And, and where are you from? From uh, Tel Aviv. Awesome. So Israel. From Israel. Israel. Awesome. Nice to meet you, man. See? It is a world trade. Machining is worldwide. And uh, when we meet each other, we're brothers right there because it's all the same language. No matter where you are in the world, you can be in America, you can be in Israel, you can be in Germany. It's, it's G-code, it's machining components and raw material making finished parts. And awesome. Nice to meet you. Now check this out. Like, big parts right here. Big old spindle. Now if the spindle looks familiar, this is the same spindle that we have on the CP6000. Maybe a little bit bigger um, version, but it looks pretty similar. Big old rotary table for a Heller being machined in a Heller. Oh, it's super big too. So you can see like how big this is right here. It's crazy. Boom. Big old parts right here. Heller parts being machined on monster Hellers. And like, oh, you can see how big this thing is. So awesome. Big old machine. Now, if you come on this side, I'm gonna like come on this side. Now check this out. Like you actually step up here. Oh, and then you got the other pallet on this side. So basically when you look at our machines in Texas and you see our, our small pallets and stuff, they're not small, they're big, but there's like levels to the game as you guys always hear me uh, say. So when you come over here, these pallets, these pallets are on a whole nother level. I'm gonna show you like some of these machines right here. Now look at this guy. This is the Heller MC670. Look like, look at how big that is. That is crazy right there. I came here last year 
and I was actually featuring like one of the machines, but this time I'm just kind of like walking over here, just kind of like showing you guys around these machines, which I haven't actually featured. Big old part. Now when you come to like this machine over here, it's almost like a little house over here. You know, you got like the stairs, you step up over here, and this is where the operator sits right here. And check it out, you got literally have stairs over here. So these guys don't even know where I'm at. Look, they're checking on me, see? Titus is over here checking on me. Oh, the machine is running. You hear it? And then now you're on an upper platform. This is still the, the machine right here. Big old heller. So last year I actually featured that machine over there. And look at that walkway over there. I mean, they're just monster machines. Just crazy monster machines. You remember this bad boy right here? This is all one machine right here. Crazy. Oh man, we got the F8000 right here. Absolute monster machine. Siemens control, Cinematic One. Oh, look at all the stainless steel. Look at, look at the engineering throughout. Absolutely incredible. Crazy, right? I mean, look at, look at this. This is, this is insane. Yes, how have the five axis machines been upgraded? One is just size. Like the size is bigger, everything is bigger. The work work piece envelope is bigger and uh, the tables are bigger, all of it. Look at this spindle right here, continuous horsepower, like crazy torque, it's like 1100 uh, Newton meters or something. And then when you look at uh, the spindle horsepower, we're at like 52 horsepower continuous and it actually goes up over 80 horsepower for like bursts and stuff. So just monster, monster, monster machine. Incredible. And uh, when you're at the 6,000, it's the exact same horsepower. Now one of the things, like when you, when you look at Heller, 130 year old machine tool company. You go into Ford, you go into Caterpillar, you go into Cummings, you go into all these big companies. I, I did a video at Detroit Diesel with 50 machines that have been running since 2008. These things never stop. You just don't see them because they're in these big companies that never open their doors. But right now, there are some crazy opportunities. Everything about the Heller, it is, it's the Bugatti. It is an absolute beast. This thing runs nonstop. It never stops. We got 500 pallets, tombstones, work holding systems in this entire cage cell, all that right there. And there are about 45 monster machines stacked throughout this building. And I thought I'll actually come on camera and show you guys something that is truly fascinating. So if you're a machinist or a machine shop owner or a leader and you're looking at your company and you're looking at like how you can get organized, we're gonna take a look at how Heller organizes their tools, like complete tool management on steroids. To help us do that, oh man, I got I got Marcus over here, and then I got Titus over here. How long have you guys been with Heller? Nine years. Nine now. years. And I'm 16 years now. 16 years? Yes. And you look like you're barely 16 years <laughs> old. Super good, man. How is it working here? It's great, man. It's every day a new challenge, and it's a lot of fun. Big machines making big machines. Heller's making Heller's. Yes. Super good, man. And one of the cool things is like Heller is 130 years old. So you guys basically been working on your processes like all that time and you've just taken it to such a high level. In no sense other people reinvent the wheel. Let's just look at you guys and see how you guys do it and then other people can implement it in their own shops. Yes, Super let's cool. do it. Awesome, man. So, hey, we're going to actually go into this area right here. So this is where all the tools are stored right there. So when you look at like drills and end mills and boring bars and inserts and all of it, you go into a computer, you um, list what you need and then everything comes down, boom, right there and you grab that tool. Now inside this, just inside this cabinet right here, there is about six million dollars worth of tools right this second about 15,000 different tools equaling $6 million. How do those tools get in holders and get into all of these machine tool magazines for all these machines right here? That's what we're gonna learn right now. So it's pretty high tech. And if we walk down here, then we actually see this board right here. And this board actually has every single tool that's being called from the different machines. So we're gonna actually have Marcus is actually gonna explain 
how the system works, all right? So I'm gonna get on the other side of the camera so you guys can see. So here we have our airport terminal, as we call it, at Heller. We have, for each operation, the amount of toolings we need to take off for the next process. And for example, we have the order number, the material number, and we see on which machine we are, have the process, the NC program number, the order operation number, the date, the amount of toolings we need to assemble for this specific operation, the tools which are already in the machine, and then the difference is the tools we have to actually prepare for that specific operation. And we see which of the guys are working on it to get the right time to take off the, with the process on the machine. And if the guys are finished with the assembly, then we put it on the cart and bring it directly to the machine. This is the plan time for the assembly of the different tools. This is the time stamp, which was the last checkup of the status of the toolings in the machine. So we have it live. As you can see, it's now. Now, when you look at the system, you have the order number and the material number. So we have a bunch of stations, like there's a station there, station here, station over here, station down there. So you have somebody over here that sits in this chair. They'll look at the number. They'll come over here and they'll actually come up here and they'll actually put the order number and the material number up in here. And that'll bring up the drawing of the tool. So it'll show the holder. And then when you come over here, you'll see exactly the tool and how it's positioned in the holder, how long it extends. And it'll show the insert, it'll show like the angle, show everything. So they basically just reproduce this here they put the sticker right here and then the, the holder is actually chipped so once the the holder goes into the machine the machine reads all the information connected to this holder and this assembly based on this drawing based on all the information that was brought up as the tools get loaded they get loaded all on this cart the cart then is wheeled out to the machine where the tools are placed into the magazine clean so over here they have like a a nice finishing head it's kind of like a boring head that drops in to, to create the surface finish down into a bore but you can see that he's making sure the insert is placed absolutely perfect the angle is absolutely perfect everything is to the drawing that was pulled up everything has to be absolutely dialed precise to the print that was pulled up and then that tool will go on to the tool rack which will then go to the machine. When you come over here, you see a bunch of preset tools. These are tools that they're not taking out unless they break or are damaged in some way, but they're used all the time. So you got big old boring heads, you got shell mills, you got big deburring tools, and, and these just stay right here. This system right here, basically you have drawer after drawer after drawer as high as you can go. And then basically if you come over to the terminal, you, you see what tool you need, boom, it'll actually bring it down. And then the tool comes down, this door opens, this whole shelf comes and it has all the tools on it. Everything's listed. And then you go to that tool number, grab it, boom. And then it goes back in, goes back up. So in this system right here, basically right now, I asked how many tools are in that system? They said about 15,000 tools. I'm like, like approximately how much money right now right there and they said about six million dollars but it keeps getting changed out oh man we got the heimer the power clamp over here they have a lot of different types of tooling and balancers and shrink fit and all of it all set up over here everything is set up absolutely perfect and that's just a look at how a large company like heller sets their tools up precisely and perfectly and how the entire tool management works and then once the carts are loaded they're actually stationed over here and then the carts are taken to the machine so these are all carts right here that have all the tooling set in place getting ready to actually go to the machines and i see a lot of different tools so like this this one has more end mills and drills this one has more boring heads this one has more end mills basically all these tools are ready to go to the different machines and you gotta understand like these machines have hundreds of tools 
in their magazines. And we're talking huge production on a huge scale. Oh man, check this out. Taking a look at the F6000. This is a beast right here. So check this out. I love this too. Like they've totally changed this machine right here. You look at our CP6000 that we have. This is basically the new model. Everything just went to a higher level. I even love like the platform right here. The controls are right here. But if I wanted to work off of this platform and I wanted to come up here and actually step up here where I have all this nice room, then basically you take this control and you can raise it up. It's a big machine, so you're just in the mix right here. You turn the controls right there. Cool, right? You look at the torque on this thing, it's at like 1146 Newton meters. So crazy, we'll put the English equation up there. Horsepower, continuous is 52 horsepower, and then it's up over 80 for burst, meaning like you can take a big old three inch drill and just plow through it with, with crazy torque and horsepower. See this guy right here? See that? That's trick. So when, you, when you're actually in here and you're setting things up and you're moving through your setup, and you're running a program and you're going through it and you're looking, you're looking and looking. Instead of looking back at your controls, when you're in like G1 and it's like G1, 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 there's colors associated with it. And you'll see that this guy right here, the colors will change to actually show you where you are on the program. So instead of looking there, you get an idea that as you come to the lower numbers, with the color change, it kind of gives you that sense like, oh, I'm almost there, be careful. Cool, right? I mean, it's just a bunch of common sense stuff. So basically right now, they have five machines that are ready to go this year. So a lot of people don't have machines that for eight months, 12 months, F6000 says five fully loaded, amazing machines. And right now you can get a crazy deal on these machines. You can actually come out with a partnership with Heller and all of it at a discounted price. Down below, there's a link. Hit that link and we'll give you more information on that. You can get a quote. So full five axis, turning everything at a discounted price. Hit the link right now. Machines in stock, ready to go. Boom.